Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the HJC F70 Carbon Helmet. HJC's F70 helmet was launched in 2020 and it brought about a whole new look for HJC with a dramatic design that looks like it's something from a film. This is the carbon fibre version which arrived in early 2021 and it gives an even more eye-catching look with the use of very appealing carbon fibre for the shell. With some helmets the carbon is only an outer layer on top of other types of fibre but this one is a fully carbon shell. This size medium F70 carbon weighs in on our scales at 1380 grams, which makes it a proper lightweight helmet in my opinion. It's around 110 grams lighter than the regular F70, which has a fiberglass shell. And that's actually a pretty significant weight saving, and the price difference between the two helmets isn't that great either. This carbon model costs £349.99 as we record this, which is £100 more than a straight F70 if it's in plain colours, and £80 more than an F70 with a graphic design on it. Most of the rest of the helmet is the same as the straight F70. The venting is the same setup with intakes at the chin and also on top of the lid. There are twin vents at the chin, one of them's on a rocker and the other on a slider. They both draw air through to the inside of the chin bar and then they send it up through an outlet on the top of the chin bar towards the inner surface of the visor. The top vent is also a twin setup with these sliders pulling air into the helmet which is then able to travel through the interior towards the back of the lid and out through this gathering of vents at the rear, which stay open all the time. The F70's visor is very different to the company's other visors. It's shaped to wrap around this raised section in the centre of the chin bar, and then it has a V-shape across the top as well. Those looks are dramatic, and there are dual lifting tabs as well, so you can operate the visor with either left or right hands just as easily. It's protected against mist by a Pinlock 70 insert, which is a Max Vision insert, and it covers most of the eye port for a clearer view. There's one thing that's definitely worth knowing about this visor, and that's that you need a screwdriver to change it. The screw itself and also the collar behind it are both vulnerable to making their own escape when you're trying to change this visor. So I wouldn't want to be changing visors regularly on this helmet, and I definitely want, wouldn't want to be doing it all the time while I'm out and about. Thankfully, a tinted visor isn't strictly necessary, as there's a drop-down sun visor which runs on this switch on the left-hand side of the helmet just here. That sun visor is coated to stop it misting up, and it's worked well in my experience of this helmet. There's another difference internally here to the original F70 that when that helmet first came out, and that's the breath guard. This is a much more traditional breath guard than those first F70s had. That one was very different from anything I'd seen before, and it completely filled the space between the drop-down sun visor and the chin bar. You still get one of those more dramatic breath guards, HJC call them breath box, with the F70 carbon, but now it's in the box rather than in the helmet. You can fit it to replace this standard guard if you like, and it will make the helmet look very much like this. Moving to the interior, it's a comfy liner, just as you'd expect with a helmet that costs 350 pounds. It's fully removable, and the sections that line up with the intake vents have either cutouts or mesh sections, so they don't block the airflow. A twin chin curtain is fitted as standard, and this extending section here attaches with Velcro, and it can easily be taken out if it gets on your nerves. Behind the liner, there are recesses for intercom speakers, and the F70 Carbon is prepared for HJC's smart intercoms. There are a couple of options in that range, and this cavity at the neck roll stores a battery, and then the control module attaches to the left-hand side of the lid just around here. There's even a small recess inside the chin bar that accommodates the microphone for the smart intercoms. The padding is thinner just above the ears, and there's also a channel in the impact liner here to make room for the arms of spectacles that's important to glasses wearers as well. Finally, with the interior, the all-important fastening strap. This one runs double D-rings, and they're a natty gold color in the F70 carbon, which is one more thing to set it apart from the regular F70. So let's cover sizing and approvals. The F70 comes in sizes extra small to double XL. There are two shell sizes. The first of those shell sizes covers helmet sizes up to and including medium, and the bigger shell covers lids from size large and up. This lid meets ECE 2205 approval for the road, and it's also ACU gold, so you can use it on track and in competition. The F70 carbon hasn't been tested yet by the UK government's sharp scheme, so we'll have to wait to find out how many stars it earns from those impact tests. 
My own experience of this helmet is that it's light, it's well ventilated and it offers good peripheral vision and actually that peripheral vision is better with the narrower breath guard fitted in here rather than the big chunky breath box that filled all of the space under the sun visor on the original F70s when they came out. The interior shape on this helmet is different to other HJCs I've reviewed. It feels slightly longer and narrower than their Arthur range for example and it was a little too narrow for absolute comfort on my round shaped bonds. If yours is a bit longer than it is wide, then this helmet or the regular F70 would be well worth a look. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the HJC F70 carbon helmet. But if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.